guys, I asked you on Twitter to send me punk edits of myself, and at first you guys sent the most awful edits ever. They were so bad. I'm kidding, you're the best, I love you. But you're also the worst. Then one of you guys was like, the punk alley already existed. And then you sent me this. For all of you still in high school thinking that you're gross, it gets better. I'm living proof. I think. So after that little fiasco, you guys sent me a bunch of awesome punk edits. So I'm gonna turn myself into a punk edit of myself, IRL, and you get to come along for the ride. Buckle up. That was my punk horn. That was my punk edit horn. So. All right, so I picked up some supplies from my local 99 cent store, which by the way, I'm pretty sure everyone in there was an actual zombie. Anyway, I'm pretty really skeptical about everything I purchased, so let's just get started. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Do punk people do that? So every punk edit should have some sort of hair color change. So, boom! This one looks like it's been open 800 times, which is probably what happened when it was at the store before I bought it. All the sticky stuff's still there, but it's just dirt now, so it's not sticky no more. Good shit. Oh, good shit. Pretty sure you're not supposed to buy hair dye from a can from a 99 cent store. So we'll see where this takes us. This thing comes out like a water gun. Yeah. Okay, is my hair purple yet? Oh no. No! Oh good, now it's just wet and my skin is purple. Oh good. You know what? Okay. You know what? Okay. People did this, right? Punk people did this at one point in time? Good thing about the 99 cent store, so many tattoos. Can we talk about how these came in the same pack? Why? Alright, which one should I pick? What do kids like these days? The answer is probably not in this tattoo pack. Punk edit, you gotta do a neck tat. Hell yeah. I'm all tatted up, now it's time for some makeup. <laughs> I don't know what they do. Here's the thing, I don't own black eyeliner. I know. So I'm gonna use an eyebrow kit for virtually everything. First up, we gotta darken this. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, I did that wrong. Man, when you can't see, what a gamble. Fingers, nature's Q-tip. Some of these edits have dark lips. I don't own anything that goes on lips. I do, however, own eyebrow gel and brown powder. So I think that's what we're gonna do. If you could see how dirty this palette was, you would tell me not to put this on my lips right now. But it's happening. It happened. Yep, that thing kinda works. Oh, shit! This is bad! The last thing I need is some jewelry for my face. To no one's surprise, I did not find any jewelry suitable for this occasion at the 99 cent store, but I did find paper clips. So let's improvise. It was either buy a bunch of paper clips or try and deconstruct a shark tooth necklace. They just give you so many options at the 99 cent store. This is not a promo. All right, so none of my ears are pierced, so I thought gauges with a I'm improvising, guys, can you please? Let's paint gauges on. Yeah, okay. Oh, it worked, bitch. Oh shit, oh no. Look at that, came off. Nature's Q-tip, huh. All right, so we got one lip. <laughs> oh yeah, I did it. All right, guys, here it is, the finished pro- <laughs> We lost the lip ring mid-video, rest in peace. Here it is, finished product. I look pretty punk. Alright guys, that's it for me. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and I will see you later, suckers. <laughs> hey guys, so the spider is Anybody wanted to know how I test my shot, that was it. So gonna just roll on out of here. Alright.